Happy Christmas Eve. Thank you for joining us today for our virtual Christmas Eve pageant. I am so grateful to the children and youth and the musicians of First United Methodist Church of Palo Alto. They have given of their time and their talents and their fabulous acting skills. We hope you enjoy this retelling of the Nativity story, the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. We hope you enjoy this time with your family to remember why we worship together. And we hope and pray that you have a very Merry Christmas. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus. Look down from the sky and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus. I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me i pray bless all the dear children in thy tender care and take us to heaven Still we see the light above thy deep and dreamless sleep. The silent stars go by, yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight for christ is born of mary and gathered all above while mortals sleep the angels keep their watch of wandering love O oh, morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing to God the King and peace to men on earth. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given so god imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven no ear may hear his coming but in this world of sin where meek souls will receive him still the dear christ enters in O oh, holy child of bethlehem descend to us we pray cast out our sin and enter in be born to us today we hear the christmas angels the great 
great glad tidings tell oh come to us abide with us our lord emmanuel mary and joseph has traveled a long way from nazareth to bethlehem the emperor wanted everyone to go to their hometown to be accounted Joseph was from Bethlehem, so he and Mary had to go to Bethlehem. There had been a hard trip. Mary was going to have her baby very soon. Bethlehem was very crowded and busy. There was no room for Mary and Joseph in the guest room. The special night, baby Jesus was born. Mary wrapped him in clothes and laid him in a manger. In the fields around Bethlehem, the shepherds were watching the sheep. The night an angel appeared to the shepherds. An angel said, Do not be afraid. Today is Bethlehem. A baby was born for everyone. The baby is God, son. The baby's name is Jesus. You will find him laying in a manger. The shepherd said, Let's go to Bethlehem and see the special baby. The shepherds found Mary and Joseph, the baby Jesus. They told everyone, told everyone they saw about the new baby. The shepherds praised God for letting them see the special baby Jesus. And they lived happily ever after. The end. That was a good story. Okay, Rowan, it's time to go to bed. But Mom, can you stay a while longer? No, it's late and it's time to go to sleep. But I'm scared. That book made me think of all my fears. Your fears? What are you scared of? Well, let's see. X-rays, bees, airplanes, lice, mice, and Zoom. Zoom? Okay, I get it. Sometimes I get scared too. Well, how can I go to sleep? I can't sleep when I'm afraid. Well, stories are a great way. And you know, sometimes it helps me to remember that I'm part of a story that's bigger than me. I'm part of God's story. And in God's story, there are lots of people who are afraid. You know, I think I have time for one more story tonight. And in this story, there are lots of people who are scared of lots of things, just like us. And it all begins in Nazareth, a town in Galilee, with a woman named Mary. talk to me? We haven't met before, have we? Do you want to hear what I have to say? I do. Pardon me. Let's start over. Greetings, favored one. God is with you. Um, what kind of greeting is that? Don't be afraid, Mary, for you found favor with God, and now you're going to have a baby boy. You'll name him Jesus, and he will be great. And he will be called the Son of the Most High, and his kingdom will have no end. How can this be? How is this going to happen? The Holy Spirit will overcome you, and the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Also, your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby, even though people thought it would be impossible. But nothing is impossible with God. 
Was all of that a question? Oh, hmm. Well, are you asking me if I want to do this? Good question. Um, uh, yes. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to this message. I need to see Elizabeth. Elizabeth, are you home? I'm coming in. Come on in, Marriott. I have to tell you something. You are so blessed among women. The baby in your womb is also blessed. The moment the sound of your greeting entered my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. He ought to feel it. Elizabeth, I'm also bursting with good news. God took one look at me and look what happened. I'm the last woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. I'm talking about the God who knocks the powerful off their thrones and lifts up the lowly. So, um, can I stay with you for a few months? Mary is pregnant? How is that possible? We aren't married yet, and the law says that this is not good. Not good at all. She claims that this child, the child she carries, is actually God's child. The only option is to marry her, and then divorce her quietly. That will save my reputation, at least. <sighs> but she will be disgraced. I don't know what to do, and I am afraid. Oh, Mary. Joseph. Son of David, do not be afraid to get married. God's Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant and she'll have a son and you will name him Jesus. God saves because he will save his people from their sins. I'm gonna marry Mary. I'm going to marry Mary, and we're going to have a baby, and name him Jesus, and I'm going to be a dad, and I need to pack this. Hold on, I have questions. Why is Joseph packing a bag? Do angels still visit people in dreams? Why is everyone making such a big deal about this? It's just a baby. Okay, okay, I get it. And we don't have all the answers to these questions. Sometimes God acts in unexpected and miraculous ways. That sounds like Pastor Deborah when I ask her tough questions. Well, I'm glad I sound like Pastor Deborah because it's true. We don't always have the answers to the questions. But I do have an answer to one question. Why was Joseph packing a bag? Well, to know that, we need to meet the emperor. Citizens of Rome, it is I, your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Light, Way, and Prince of Peace, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say you're welcome. For what? You're welcome for all the great things that I have done for you. There has never been an emperor as powerful and as glorious as me. My empire is vast. You people are obedient. I'm saving all of you. All of you. And you owe me so much. That's right. You owe me so much. Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, let's get a good head count. 
so you can all pay me what I'm owed, which is a lot. Go to your hometown and register your family so that you can show proper appreciation of my vast awesomeness. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know my magnificent ways always. Farewell. News is I think I found us a place to stay. Finally, this baby is not going to wait much longer. Where are we staying? Oh, did you get a room at the nice inn I like? The one with that good breakfast? Um, not exactly. It was full. Oh no, what are we going to do? Sleep outside with shepherds? Stay in the stable with donkeys? What? No, who would do that? Joseph, this baby is coming soon. I know, I know. The guest rooms are full, but I found an innkeeper who will let us stay in a small space in his home. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a nice space. Lots of hay. Maybe a few animals. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Okay, stop there. What? Why? I don't think I want to hear about the birth part. You don't want to hear about the birth part? Okay, well, the Bible doesn't really tell us about the birth itself. It does tell us that Mary gives birth and wraps her newborn child in swaddling cloths and places him in a feeding trough. And all that's really important for the next part of our story. It takes place in a field. Okay, keep going. Well, there were some shepherds outside watching their flocks by night. Soon, they would receive a powerful message from God. And they could have been afraid, but actually, they weren't. Glory to God in the highest. <clears throat> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God, glory to God. Is this thing even working? Am I on mute? Are you people even listening? <sighs> all right. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Good news for all the people. The Messiah is born, a Savior. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. That is all. Goodbye. You guys both saw that, right? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Bah. Yep, that happened. Bah. Well, we are going, right? Yes, we are going. We have to. Do we bring the sheep? I think we have to. Bah, bah, yeah. We want to go come. Take us with you. Bah, bah. What were those signs again? A baby wrapped in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Bah. We won't forget. Let's go. You too, sheep. Come on. Miracle. It was exactly how the angel had described. The baby was wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Friends. We have seen something amazing tonight. I don't know about you guys, but it feels like the world is changing. Yeah, but why do you think we got to see it? Nobody cares about us shepherds. We're poor, and we don't have very much power. I have no idea. But the baby's mother, Mary, acted like this was exactly what was supposed to happen. Like this was meant for people like us. Maybe this baby will lift up the lowly. 
and bring down the lofty. Wouldn't that be something? It sure would. I believe there is no limit to what this baby can do. Hey, shepherds, was that star there last night? I don't think I've seen that one before. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. And welcome to our observatory. Isla, how's quarantine going? Fine, I miss being with you guys. We miss you too. We are the wise men. Wise people. The magi, we are the magi. We are really more like scientists. Astronomers, we study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we notice immediately. And we just noticed a new star. We must follow our scientific instincts and find out why there is a new star in the sky. We now begin our journey. Are you guys there yet? I know you're remote, but you literally just asked that. Now? Yes. Yes, it looks like we're here. Here it is. Bethlehem. Oh, great. You guys are there. Put me on speakerphone. Hello? Can you hear us? Yeah. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. Um, <laughs> did somebody say king? <laughs> I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody is talking about it. They all say that I am a powerful king. The best king Bethlehem has ever seen. We got it. Best king ever. Oh, we are here because we are looking for the newly born king. The child born king of the Jews. We observed his star at its rising. Ooh. And we have come to honor him. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? I've got to make a phone call. Uh, hello? Yeah, hey, put me 
through to my smart people. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Okay. This is your king. The very best king. Yes. I need to know, according to your research, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. A Bethlehem? Are you sure? Oh, bye. <clears throat> Hi, wise folks. Uh, so yeah, this is this is great. Uh, you go find this child. Uh, pay him honor, uh, and then and then get back to me so that I can I can also pay him respects. <laughs> um, sure. Okay. Uh, we can do that. Let's get out of here. believe I'm still in quarantine. Uh, I know it's the worst. I'm sorry. So when we left Herod, he decided to sit around and be jealous and plan his revenge. He felt very threatened that there was a new leader that people were excited to meet. But we found Jesus and brought gifts to this special child. We brought gold. And we brought frankincense. We also brought myrrh. Usually, these gifts are for royalty. Powerful people. Grown men. But we brought these gifts to a tiny, weak, oppressed child. Even though we didn't know exactly what was going on, we knew he was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. Oh, and by the way, we didn't return to that wicked King Herod. Nope, no way. We were warned in a dream to take a different way home. You might say you guys took the scenic route. And now we return to watching the stars. Those wise people were really brave. They honored the king that God had chosen. They brought him presents. They disobeyed orders of King Herod and made it home safely. Yep, you're right, they were brave. And there are lots of brave people in this story. Mary and Joseph, the shepherds and the Magi, they all realized that God was doing something amazing in this world. Okay, Rowan, are you feeling sleepy? Um, it's time for bed. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling sleepy and safe. But this isn't the end. Oh, it's the end. It's late and it's time to go to sleep. But mom, this is just the beginning. Jesus is born, he grows up, he changes water to wine, he flips tables, he heals, he teaches, he's- <laughs> Okay, I get it. Jesus' birth is just the beginning. But let's concentrate tonight on this one special moment. The moment when Jesus was given to us. That makes sense. This was a good story. It is a good story. And it reminds us that even when we're afraid, God is with us. In the end, all things will work out for good. There will be love and justice and peace. And that's the final word. Okay, and speaking of a final word, let's let Mary, the mother of Jesus, have these last good words to share with us. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, God, have looked with favor on the lowliness of your servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For you, the Mighty One, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. Your mercy is for those who fear God from generation to generation. You, O oh God, have shown strength with your arms. You have scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. 
You, God, have brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have helped your servant Israel in remembrance of your mercy, according to the promises you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah and to their descendants forever. Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy. 